<laughs> What's going on, guys? We have some news for Wayfinder and for the channel. Let's jump into the Wayfinder news. There was a question as to how is that Invisible Blood song coming along, and it is fixed. All of the stuff is coming from the Discord. Sir Snarf answered some questions and gave some information, and Sir so put it together as he always does in the Dev Tracker, and that's what we're going over right now. One of the things to talk about is that guilds are still happening down the road. They still plan on building out the guild system in the game, but at the moment, most people have been preemptively creating Discord servers for their friends groups. But we are welcome to post in the guilds and communities in Discord if that's something that you want to do. Of course, guilds and stuff in the game is definitely going to be something that probably comes after the free-to-play version drops because that's going to be a part of like the housing system and all that good stuff and plus more players will be in the game as well there are also going to be some new open world bosses that they talk about here and these aren't coming until later later not the next open world but the next next open world zone so snarf says that this is going to be a super intense fight much more millennia vibes versus the phase 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 fights of some of our other bosses now, you know millennia is from elden, elden ring and then this is going to be an open world boss as well and what if it'll be like a hidden open world boss too i'm, I'm pretty curious on how they're going to do this like are they taking cues from elden ring to make these open world bosses since open world bosses is a thing in elden ring it's be pretty interesting all right so next we have some sneak peeks from snarf in regards to the upcoming ui and other connected changes so first i have some images on the screen here i'm going to see an image where crit and defense will now display their effectiveness. And he put NIS as in N-I-S-S -S -S for a little pun here. So now if you hover over it with your mouse, you can see what physical defense does. We have a picture here that's like physical defense mitigates attack power from enemies. And then with 2,975, the physical damage mitigation is 38%. Now I don't know if these numbers are legit or if they're still testing stuff. These might not be accurate to our current build as this is a future build that they're working with this on. So some things may have changed with how they are calculating defense. So don't take these numbers at face value. And a couple of things you want to notice too here also is that the screen overall has changed. Now this is your character screen. They're not with the purple hue over them anymore. So you can actually see what their dyes and stuff kind of look like. And then we see our echoes, abilities, affinity, mastery is all in a different system. As a console player, who plays mostly on console, I do play on PC sometimes, I'm kind of curious how this is going to work. Will we be able to move our mouse cursor? And if so, will they allow us to adjust the speed of the thumbsticks? Because navigating through a lot of the menus with your thumbstick is really slow. So hopefully they'll allow us to adjust the speed so we can go through these menus a lot faster. Especially in the echoes, since they added that new thing to read more of the echoes, we can't scroll down as fast on the echo list anymore. So hopefully that's something that they fix as well. If we look over here, they did the same thing with the crit power or crit rating. And we can see that crit power increased the digital damage when landing a critical hit. And the crit chance is 13.81%. Again, these numbers are for a different build, not this build. So take those with a grain of salt. We also have potions being overhauled for a longer duration. You can see with the Greater Stomper Blood Brew number three, it provides one use of Greater Stomper Blood Brew three. It affects increases crit power by 35% up to a maximum of 810 and satiates the user, increasing all XP gains by 5% last 30 minutes or upon travel, which is good because it's gonna definitely last while you're in that lost zone or doing a boss fight. Now does traveling mean as well if you're teleporting within the zone? And does it also mean if you die and have to get teleported back to the beginning of the match is that considered traveling as well or do potions last indef indefinitely through death so that's something we had to figure out as it uh, launches or as it comes out but that 30 minutes is really good because you don't have to worry about trying to pop it at the right time and then only lasting like five minutes or less so this is this is a pretty good change on the potions especially since they are one use now and uh they go away we also get an indirect sneak of the new accessory screen. Somebody took a screenshot of it, so now I try to sneak it in there, try to snarf it in there like it normally does. And as you can see here, one of the things I've kind of been kind of thinking about is the accessory screen because there are so many accessories and stuff. Now this is a lot cleaner screen. I do like these, um, I like to call them stream deck buttons. These these buttons, how they're separated and not all just like crammed together, makes it for, it makes it easier to read. The thing that's gonna matter the most is how to navigate. Now, if you notice here at the bottom, there's an X button here. You're playing on PC with a controller, it looks like. 
because there's also a mouse. Oh no, it's just X. So you just press the X key. So clear slot, that means you'll actually be able to clear the echoes that's in that, or clear the slot that's equipped. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be one of the two. We're either gonna be able to clear the echoes that are equipped from this screen or clear the uh, accessory that's equipped from that slot. I guess there's something else we're gonna find out. But if we can clear accessories from the menu screens, like if we were trying to sell accessories or anything like that, we can clear the accessories from that sell screen or from this screen, that would be amazing as well. So hopefully, hopefully that's something that they add in here as well. And you can see if you have like an epic or rare echo equipped into it, even though you can't see what echo slots they are until you cycle through and find out, you know, what it is. So that's pretty cool. Pretty good screens there. So that's a pretty good news they have going on here. The update is still the beginning of February. So I'm guessing sometime next week or, or the week after. And hopefully we get some more news that we can talk about there as well. As far as the channel information goes, we will be opening up that Discord server here soon. I will have a video, probably one of the next news videos, and I'll put the link for the Discord server in the description. Also, if you notice, I'm wearing this hat here. This is a new merch piece we got coming out. Uh, this design was by Ko in the Discord. Codex does a lot of the artworks and um, stuff that you see there, a lot of the, the stickers and emotes and stuff if you're in the Discord. So this is gonna be, we have this, and then we have an addition for giveaways, gold edition, so we'll be giving away um, some merch as well in the Discord once I open it up and get the, the giveaway bot in there. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you guys again for being here. We'll looking forward to making some more content on games like Wayfinder and others. So until next time, see you then. Peace.